President Trump is tweeting about a variety of topics over the last few days. That's not really anything new, but one of his posts prompted North Korea to threaten to shoot down American warplanes. Kevin Cork is at the White House with more. President Trump imposing new travel restrictions on eight countries, including North Korea. The addition largely symbolic as Pyongyang does not permit most of its citizens to travel overseas. And as of September 1st, Americans are not allowed to visit the North. Tensions between the U.S. and North Korea high over its refusal to comply with international sanctions regarding its weapons program. Pyongyang carrying out its sixth and largest nuclear test just earlier this month and has threatened to test an H-bomb over the Pacific Ocean. This would be a shocking uh, display of irresponsibility toward global health, towards stability, towards non-proliferation. U.S. bombers flying in international airspace off the North Korean coast in a show of force this past Saturday after President Trump took aim at Kim Jong-un during his United Nations address last week. The president continuing his attack on Twitter, saying Kim and his foreign minister, quote, won't be around much longer. According to the North, that post equals a declaration of war. We will have every right to make countermeasures, including the right to shoot down the United States strategic bombers. We've not declared war on North Korea, uh, and frankly, the suggestion of that is absurd. The military doesn't appear to be backing down anytime soon. A Pentagon official telling us today that the U.S. has the right to fly in international airspace. At the White House, I'm Kevin Cork, Fox News.